and welcome back everyone to night some developments and this is actually part 23 of my 2025 fps tutorial series and in this video we're going to be implementing recoil since that's what you guys requested in my discord server so now if i go ahead and shoot as you can see my gun has a recoil pattern that is completely custom for every weapon or to however you like it it's a super cool and easy tutorial i provide you with all of the code all of the files so it's pretty much impossible to mess up this is just a professional touch to our game, which doesn't allow players to just laser each other from across the map. It just makes the game a lot more realistic. So yeah, super cool and easy tutorial. Thank you so much to Xerda for inspiring this video and providing the base code. As well as thank you so much to my channel supporters who either purchased Discord Premium to have complete access to all of the game files and people who super thank down below. So thank you to those and let's go ahead and get into the video. Adding recoil is actually going to be one of the easiest things that we've done in the entire series. All we really have to do is just manipulate the direction of the bullet by using the C frame. So giving it like a pattern to either go up or slightly to the sides, which is going to be completely customizable. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and go to my Discord server. This is linked in the description below this video, or if you're already part of my server, it's FPS 2025 video 23 recoil. You should see a framework client script and a module add-on script. We're going to start off with framework client, go ahead and copy the entire thing. And this is the same exact process that we used for the last like 15 videos. Make sure to not copy this or something that's not the script. You're going to copy the script, go back to the game, go to your framework client, click control A to select everything, delete it. I would recommend making a copy of the old one just in case you mess something up, but I'm going to go ahead and delete and paste in the new one. And I already went over this like 15 videos in a row. All you really have to do is just swap your gun names, the walk speeds and stuff like that. And you should be good to go with the client script. All I really added is the recoil cycle, which basically if you go to control F, search for recoil, recoil cycle. Right here, there's a new function now, which is going to use a recoil pattern in our module scripts, which are the settings for our weapons to determine the amount of actual recoil for the weapon. Okay, now we're going to move on to our module add-ons. So you will have to do this for every single gun that you have. So like shotguns, pistols, uh, rifles, whatever. You're not going to do this with melee or grenades, but you do have to do this with all of the guns. So go ahead and open this up. Copy these lines here. Make sure to not miss anything. And you're gonna paste this right after attachments. So what that means is you go to, for example, your Troy Defense AR or whatever gun you're using, scroll down, find attachments, and then they end right here. So right after your suppressor, barrel devices, basically wherever this line gets closed, at the end, make sure to not accidentally paste in between these. Go ahead, go and click enter twice and paste in those lines that you copied. Basically, this is your recoil settings and you will have custom settings for every single gun. So stuff like shotguns should definitely have more recoil than like a pistol, right? So quickly, I'm going to go over how this works and how you can actually edit this. The first one, math rad and this, these values here are going to randomly cycle. So one, so first shot can be like, for example, one, your second shot could be like half and the third shot could be two, it's random. The point is the first line here, these values are all X values. So this is how much your weapon will move up. So every time you shoot, it's a random value for recoil to go up. And then this, the second one is going to be Y. So it's like left and right. If you put in a positive number, like a two, the gun will sway two to the right. If you put a negative two, it's going to sway two to the left. So what I would recommend doing is putting like a negative one and then like a one, which will just kind of throw it both directions. And then leaving one blank is completely fine. And this is Z value. So it's like pushing back. I don't really use this one because it doesn't really affect anything. So. Let's actually test this out. If I go back to my game, click play, quickly load in. I'll walk over to the wall so you guys can see the recoil a lot better. 
So if I go ahead and run over and start shooting, right? If I just hold down the key and don't move my mouse. As you can see, the gun is going up and it has those one left and right recoil values that I have set. I could try and hold it down the best I can. So as you can see, I'm holding it down. So this just makes your game a lot better. Just it's harder to laser players from across the map. So on top of this, as you can see, the gun is shaking, which is a lot more realistic and it's a lot more fun in games because you don't really want to have a gun with no recoil. And you do have to do this part for module script to do this for every single gun that you have. So I already did it for the pistol, so I don't have to. So then if I pull out, for example, my secondary and I go ahead and shoot. As you can see in that one, I think I have recoil just set up. So yeah, that's basically how you add recoil. If you have any questions, also double check that you don't have any errors in the output. But yeah, if you have any questions, comment down below or ask in my Discord server. Me or one of my mods will help you out. Uh, give me video ideas. Next video is probably going to be on game modes. So yeah, that's basically our tutorial. That's how you add recoil. Super quick video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.